apparently coming for this weekend. So cold weather, maybe some snow, but you know, they'll, they'll refine that forecast as it goes. So today we're going to talk about COVID. We're going to talk about the numbers. We're going to talk about vaccinations. Um, and then we're going to take your questions, whatever's on your mind. We're going to talk, talk with you about that. So let me begin by talking a little bit about um, the COVID numbers. They continue to be better. Um, yesterday, the city of St. Louis had 69 new cases. Now that's the highest it's been for a week. Our average number of new cases um, for the last week, though, has been 53 new cases a week in the city of St. Louis, and that's 18 cases per 100,000 population. Uh, that compares that 18 cases per 100,000 population. Uh, it's still better than anybody else in the region. Um, St. Louis County's at 32, the state of Missouri's at 25, St. Charles is at 21, Jefferson's at 26. So everybody is a lot better than we were a month ago. Um, so so that's, that's good news. Similarly, hospital numbers. Uh, currently hospitalized, this is for the region, you know this is the four major hospital systems, uh, BJC, Mercy, SSM, and St. Luke's. Uh, <clears throat> as of two days ago, because these numbers lag two days behind, there were 529 people in the hospital COVID positive or suspected of being positive, 529. Um, a week ago, on the 25th of January, it's a little more than a week ago, the number was uh, 629. So that, that's good. Uh, number of people in ICU to, as of two days ago in the region is 109. Uh, number of people on ventilators is still 82. So that's still a pretty high number, but not as high as it, as it was when it was up, I'm looking back a month and you know, it was uh, 125 or higher. So uh, those numbers are much better. They still do not meet our, uh, our guidelines, which let me just go through those one more time. We are, our goal, our goal is zero, right? But our goal to really um, uh, reconsider some of the things we're doing is to have new cases in the city of St. Louis of 35 per day. We're at 53. Hospital admissions in the region at 40 per day. We are at seven day average, we're at 61. So we're 50% higher. Uh, Number of people in the hospital in the region, goal is 350. The, we're at 529 today. And the positivity rate, the goal is 5% or less. And today in the city of St. Louis, we're just under 8%, 7.8%. So um, we're doing a much better, numbers are much better than they were a month ago. And uh, you know, it's been a pretty steep decline and I think, you know, people have just really, uh, when the numbers were so terribly high in December, end of November and in December, uh, and, and we had a lot of additional deaths. Um, so far in the city of St. Louis, we've had 353 deaths from COVID. And frankly, most of them occurred early on in COVID before the hospitals, before we had as effective treatment for it. But, uh, so within this last uh, few weeks, the numbers have really improved significantly. So keep it up. Uh, you know, don't, don't get together with your 100 best friends to watch the Super Bowl, please. Um, because we know that after every, after every uh, sort of holiday or party time, there is an increase in cases. We hope that won't be the case this time. The other thing that we know is that right now the R not if you remember that term, is about 0.8. And um, so what does that mean? That means if the r naught is 1.0, that means one positive case of COVID infects one other person. So that's an even, that's not growing, 
It's not declining. The R not right now, and this is from yesterday's meeting with the pandemic task force, uh, was reported at about 0.8. And so that's accounting for these numbers going down because people are not um, infecting so many other, so many other folks. Um, so that's that's really it for the numbers. We still have hot spots, uh, primarily in South St. Louis, and then one in the basically in the Central West End area. Those are densely populated areas in in both cases. I'm looking to see if I have a map. I might not have that today, but yeah, I don't I don't have it with me today. But uh, it's on our website. You can look at it there if if you're interested in really seeing how that shakes out. So. Um, Numbers are better. Keep up the good work. Um, I, th I think in the city of St. Louis, we have uh, all of you are, are doing a pretty darn good job. And I know it's hard. Uh, and I know you are uh, ready to socialize and get out there with friends. But please just restrain yourself a little longer. Uh, because if we can keep these numbers going down, and if we can keep the number of vaccinations going up, which right now is way too low, but we'll talk about that, then we're going to have a situation where hopefully without a big increase in any of the more contagious variants, that perhaps we can really get a handle on this and get, get numbers back down. And, and therefore, get back to some sense of normal. I don't know that it'll ever be normal like you thought it was before, you know, be before last March, but um, certainly better than what it's been for the last 11 months. So anyway, that is the numbers and happy to take any questions about those if you have them. Now vaccinations, I'm going to give it to you straight. There's not enough. There just simply is not enough. The state of Missouri, the whole state, is getting 75,000 vaccinations doses a week. There's 6.2 million people in the state. They each need two shots, at least right now. So 75,000 a week is a very low number. The St. Louis region, and this is bigger than what we usually think of as the region, it's the entire Highway Patrol Troop C geography. You can find that on the map if you want. But it includes Farmington and includes Troy areas that we don't always think of as being in our region. So the entire Troop C area is getting 38 percent, give or take, of that 75,000. That's based on population. So what does that mean that this Troop C region is going to get per week? It means around 28,000 doses. Of that 28,000 doses that we think this region will get per week, you know, the region's got two and a half million people in it, 2.4 million people in it, uh, and we're getting 28,000. So you, you see the problem there. And of that 28,000, uh, a little over 50 percent, 53 percent is going to go to the major hospital systems. Um, and so that's 15,000 doses to them. That's good. The major hospital systems, you know, they have a lot of patients. They have a lot of contact information. Um, it's likely that they, you know, they will roll out this vaccine. They have been rolling it out to, to their patients that are old. Uh, and when I say old, I, they're really focusing on 75 and above, not exclusively, but uh, and who have some pretty serious underlying conditions. So. Uh, how much the city of St. Louis will actually get per week in terms of doses uh, is, is unknown. I mean, we just simply don't know. You know that last week, a week ago yesterday, we got 3,900 doses. We uh, vaccinated 4,498 people. So let's call that 4,500. So we're able to get 600 extra doses out of those vials. Everybody knows that you can get an extra dose out of about every two vials. And I have to just give a uh, 
hats off to the nurses. We had many nurses. Um, many of them, virtually all of them, were volunteering who, who drew the, the vials. You know, you'd see them with the, with the vial turned upside down, drawing it out into the syringe. And so they are the ones that really uh, made, that, made that happen from 3,900 to 4,500. So we got that 3,900 doses uh, on Tuesday. On Thursday, we started vaccinating our first responders, our police, our fire, our EMS, the people, our corrections officer, the, the folks who fall, uh, who fall into phase 1B, tier 1. We also vaccinated over 1,000 people um, who were primarily from the registry, and you all know about the registry. Let me just tell you, we've got close to 40,000 people on that registry, but we took people in order, in the order they had signed up, first day was January the 13th, um, who were over 65 or who said they had an underlying health condition. So we feel good about getting 4,500 doses into arms, but this week, as of yesterday, we got 975 doses. Now, what are we going to do with those? Everybody wants to know. We're holding uh, 450 of them for to um, vaccinate firefighters who and firefighters and police officers who got their dose uh, back about 10 days ago, 10 maybe 12 days ago. Uh, so we'll be doing that next Friday. And then we have been assured by the state that we will get another 3,900 doses so that the people who got vaccinated last Thursday, Friday, Saturday will on the 19th, 20th, and 21st, those are the dates, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 19th, 20, 21. Of February? Of February. Checking. What is it? What are the dates, Kyle? 19th. 20th I'm right. 21st. 19, 20, 21, which will be the Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We'll get those 3,900 doses to be able to vaccinate them. So that's where we are right now. We don't have any idea how many doses the city health department will get. Um, there's, there are 114 health departments around the state that are vying for these doses. We are ordering, we are putting in our request every Monday. Um, we don't know until Saturday if we're going to get anything for the following Tuesday. So this, this will get better, but the bottom line is this. Everybody needs more vaccine. Every state, every county, every city across the country needs more vaccine. 75,000 doses of the vaccine per week for Missouri is way too low. Um, so that's where we want to set up a false expectation that, oh, you're going to get it tomorrow. You're going to get it next week. Um, I wish that I could tell you that, but I'm trying to tell you, we don't have the vaccine to give you. If we did, we would do that. So that's vaccinations. It will get better. You know, this feels a lot like uh, PPE originally. Remember when we didn't have any masks and we didn't have any gowns? Then remember we didn't have any tests, and now here we are, and there's no vaccine. Not no. There's not enough vaccine in the supply. So I'm not going to tell you to be patient because I know you're out of patience. So am I. But uh, I'm just trying to tell you the facts. So Question. all right, that's all I've got to say about that for now. Questions? We have many questions about vaccinations today, Mayor. Okay, so Julie's question has to do with round two, which by the way is the 18th, 19th, 20th. Sorry oh. about that. Okay. How confident are we from the state that we will have doses and that folks will be able to get their second booster shot? We have been assured in writing from the state that we will get those doses, Julie. We also got a question from Pat. If she is someone, or I shouldn't assume, if they are someone who got a first dose at Union Station, how do I know where I will go, when I need to go, what are the methods of communication that you'll be reaching out to me? Um, you put your email down on that sheet. We will reach out to you by email. You also put your phone number on, on the sheet. So we will reach out to you uh, first by email, no doubt, because there's 4,500 people on that list. Um, and then we'll ask you if you're coming back and then hopefully you'll reply. So 
that will be um, today's what the the third so we've got a couple weeks and you'll, you'll get something several days before that but you got a card when you got the vaccination hang on I'm gonna grab mine out of my purse I think yep okay so the card looks like this and on the back of it it tells you what day you're gonna show back up but you're gonna get a reminder please don't lose your card uh, if, if you don't know where it is right now go through your pockets go through your purse you know wherever you might have stuck it and find that card and bring it back that is the quickest way um, and and we will communicate with you also okay Judith has a question about um, the sign up and registrations she's eligible she's in one of the appropriate tiers she's joined the alerts still have heard nothing what's your recommendation on what those folks should do and where they're supposed to go well, I think I just went over that. Um, we don't have the vaccines. I don't know. Uh, we took folks in order. We are uh, we're being very mindful of, um, of of trying to make sure that we're able to vaccinate people that maybe aren't maybe aren't on smartphones or maybe aren't. On, so we're, we're working through all of that. But right now we don't have any doses. Now, I do recommend sign up with your um, wherever your doctor is affiliated bjc mercy ssm i would sign up on all of those lists as well i was at ssm this morning and um they were giving a lot of vaccinations there they were actually vaccinating uh, a lot of county uh or a lot of police officers who police in one of the county districts uh i spoke with a couple of uh officers there who work for the postal service so SSM is, is doing a lot of that, but the hospitals are the ones that we expect to get um, 15,000 doses a week. It's not going to be enough when you consider there's 2.3 or 4 million people in this area. But um, if you meet the criteria, you're more likely to get a call. You know, some folks, folks are also looking, uh, the National Guard in the state is doing various sites around the state. We could post that for you. I, I actually have that, the National Guard list. I think today, or uh, it's in Farmington. It started today. Yeah. In Farmington, because that's, that's Troop C geography. And um, you do have to have appointments, though, for all, of these, for all of these places. St. Louis County, I think, did their first event today, uh, is doing it today at Florissant Valley. Um, so you, you have to just continue to look but understand it's not about you it's not that anybody's rejecting you it's that there just are not enough doses Kristen has a COVID related question who's watching uh, what does the current positivity rate have to do um, in order with event restrictions to be lifted in the city of St. Louis well I went through that a minute ago Kristen the goal for the positivity rate is 5% or below we're at about 8% right now. Uh, the goal for in these, all these four factors have to get in line. 35 new cases in the city, 40 new admissions per day in the hospitals, fewer than 350 people in the hospital, and a positivity rate of less than 5%. So, um, you know, there, there are, um, it's not going to be like <clears throat> turning on the shower, all right? It's not going to go from off to full blast on. There'll be some phase in of that. Uh, we all want conventions here. Um, conventions are a very big economic generator for not just the convention center, but for the hotels, who for the restaurants when people go out to eat, and, you know, have entertainment. So we all want the conventions to be able to operate again. Uh, but we also can't put 10 20 30 thousand people jammed into a jammed into a space so i hope that answers your question uh so based on the limited supply jeremy lydia and some other viewers have submitted questions about additional tiers where teachers uh, educational staff other vulnerable populations transit people are located are we any closer to getting there or no no we really are not 
you know, I guess we're 4,500 doses in the city closer to getting there. But that's no place near close. So look at the state's website. It's very easy to find this. We'll post it. Tier Phase 1B, Tier 2, is where we are right now. And Tier 2 is 65 or older, adults with underlying health conditions, as they're listed. Heart disease, COPD, kidney disease, cancer, weakened immune system, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, etc. Um, that's where we are now. In the state of Missouri, two and a half million people who fall into that category are above out of six million. So 40% of the people. Um, so we have a long way to go. And when you think about at 75, thousand doses a week in the state goodness that's weeks and weeks and weeks before before we're through those people the supply has to increase it's it's that simple uh. chris has asked is the state communicating well with the city with regard on how vaccines will get there and when well I don't think the state is withholding information. I think they don't know. They've got 75,000 doses a week. They, they just really found out that that was going to be their, um, their number in the last week or 10 days. So they have told us that. What we all want to know is, well, when is the state going to get 150,000 doses per week or 200,000 doses per week? Um, <clears throat> if you think about 75,000 doses per week, um, the Biden administration set a goal initially of having a, a million shots a day. Um, we have 75,000 in the country, 75,000 doses is not even close to being able to achieve that. So it's a, it's a supply side and a distribution side problem. Um, that can only be solved by Moderna, <coughs> excuse me, Moderna, Pfizer, those two are the approved ones right now, being able to make more vaccine quicker and ship it. It's the only solution. Now, maybe Johnson & Johnson will get approved, <coughs> but it's my understanding there's not much supply of that right now either. And um, so, you know, it's, it's a production, it's a production issue. So the state tells us what they know. Um, it's just not what we want to hear. <laughs> I think we got time for two more questions. Uh, so you talked about how the state's sending 53% of its supply to hospitals mm -hmm. instead of a local health department. Mm -hmm. in counties in Missouri, I would sign up wherever you can. Uh, somewhat COVID-related question from Rachel. Uh, today's the last day to register to vote. Mm -hmm. The March and April elections are coming up. Mm -hmm. Does the Board of Elections have similar expanded voting options like libraries for people to use to vote early? <clears throat> the state did not allow, does not allow the absentee voting as a result of COVID. COVID is no longer a reason that you can vote absentee. Now, that's silly, but that's the way it is. So uh, you can vote right now at the election board absentee if you are, does it tell me the, if you're going to be out of town, you think you're going to be out of town, or if you, um, are ill or have you know have a, a, a health reason that you can't go to vote in person so um, I don't think they have libraries do they this time so, no. no but you can order an absentee ballot or you can go to the election board and vote um, it's my understanding that uh, it has not been very crowded over there so if you know who you're gonna vote for and you know that you have a health condition where you don't want to be out uh, at a polling place, 
then go to the election board and vote early. Okay. That's, That's it. That's it. It's two thirty, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you being with us. Um, thank you for your patience, if you have any. Uh, <laughs> and I, I understand if you don't. We will. We are doing this three times a week. It's been almost a year since we have been doing live with Lidas every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We've missed a few Fridays or a few meetings here or there, but you think about that we've probably by now done 135 or 40 so that's the reason that we that we do this Monday Wednesday and Friday every every week that is possible and um, so thank you appreciate you being with us